Hey, this is Mr. Hendrickson, and this is your Conceptual Physics Making the Grade pre-lab. In this lab, your setup is going to look something like this. A crossbar set up with a ramp, a cart, a spring scale, and a meter stick. You're going to start with an angle measure that the ramp makes with the table of about 10 degrees. But before you do that, you need to measure the height from the table to the crossbar in meters. Once that's done, you will not move that crossbar for the entire lab. Then you'll take the ramp, put it back on the table, as you see here. Make sure you put a clamp on so that the bar, the bar and ramp do not slide over each other. Make sure you have a partner, because even with the clamp, chances are it's going to slide off. Before you start pulling the cart up the ramp, make sure again you measure the length of the ramp to the crossbar in meters. Once that's ready, you'll hook up the spring scale to the cart, put the cart at the beginning of the ramp, and pull it up slowly. As you pull, make sure it's parallel with the ramp, and read the force on the scale. Once that's done, you're going to move the clamp, and you're going to increase that angle, make it steeper and steeper by 10 degrees, until you finally arrive in your last trial at an angle of approximately 60 degrees. When you do this, it's critical that your partner is holding on. Again, start at the very bottom, pull the cart up with the scale parallel to the ramp itself, making sure those back wheels get all the way up to the crossbar. Again, make sure you measure the length of the ramp from the very beginning to the crossbar itself in meters. Be sure to do this for every single trial. Be careful, there are situations where you could or your personal property could be in danger. Please make sure phones and any other devices are away from the table. Accidents can happen. A misplaced phone can easily become a piece of garbage. And you will be a sad student. Also, make sure your partner is holding the ramp. Even if you think you have it under control, again, things can fall apart very quickly. Finally, at some point you'll need to take the mass of your cart and add one kilogram to it. Please, when you do this, use the spring scale to measure the mass of the cart in kilograms. Simply hang it as you see here. You don't need to put the one kilogram mass on the cart because it's one kilogram. Some simple math will go a long way here. And that's it. If you follow the rules, you can be as smart and successful as these gentlemen here. Thanks for viewing, and good luck.